Good. Uh, Virginia, let's just uh, start off by getting the latest on the alleged threat that uh, President Barack Obama has described as significant. Well, we issued a worldwide travel alert last Friday and made the decision. The, the travel alert basically said that we had information that al-Qaeda and al-Qaeda affiliates might be planning an attack on American personnel or facilities. And so we took a decision to close all American embassies and facilities overseas on that Sunday. And then there are a few embassies that remain closed throughout this week. But in fact, most of them are due to be closed anyway because of the Eid al-Fatr mm -hmm. holiday. So I should yeah. also say Eid Mubarak to your viewers. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, what, what has to happen, actually, for, for a threat to be considered? I mean, because this is, uh, I mean, it's quite drastic for these embassies to have been closed down. But w what needs to happen for this to happen? Well, it's a, it's a decision taking about how credible the threat might be and whether it would be helpful to have the facilities closed or not. So we're in, we're in full operation here in South Africa and across most of Africa. Okay. All right, let's, let's talk about the, the stories back home now. Um, uh, of course, this is the, uh, the USA RAF project. Um, how, how, it's concluded. How did it all go? It was fantastic. It was wonderful to see South African soldiers and American soldiers working together. And the, the mutual respect was just something to see. Well, I imagine. But what, what was the cost and, and the benefit of this exercise to the U.S. and South Africa? Well, about 700 American soldiers from all branches of our military were here. Um, about twice that number of South African um, military personnel participated. They did uh, live fire exercises. They had um, exercises about amphibious assault. And then they did a massive humanitarian exercise. So South African dentists, military dentists, and American military dentists, and military doctors and nurses all worked together, and they saw hundreds and hundreds of patients in the Eastern Cape. Wow. Um, is there going to be an uh, ongoing exchange exercise where South African soldiers go to the U.S. as well? Well, this, this particular exercise is a, is a biannual exercise, so every two years we do a massive exercise like this. We also have something called the Defense Committee, so every 18 months the South African Department of Defense and American Department of Defense get together and look at strategic priorities and how we might deepen our military cooperation. So and indeed, we welcome those exchanges throughout the year. The, I, I would imagine so. Uh, have the, the Army personnel, the American Army personnel, have they returned already? Have they gone home? They have. They and all their equipment have been packed up and they're headed home. Uh, when you say all their equipment, I can imagine what they arrived in the country with. They did. They came with a deployable headquarters and with Humvees and some, uh, some other light assault vehicles. Um, and then they used South African equipment and everybody just sort of worked together. What, why is it important to do things like this? Well, it's usually important because America and South Africa share strategic goals about peace and security on the African continent. And the United States wants to help South Africa support African solutions to African strategic and, and security issues on the continent. Mm -hmm. So the better we understand the environment and, and know how to cooperate with the South African military, the better off we all are. What was the overall sense from, from the U.S. Army when they left of, of, of what South African military is all about and, and the workings of it? How, what was the impression? They were very impressed with the capability of the South African military. And like I said, it was really fun to see this palpable respect in both directions. And I think it was also useful because there have been some rather silly rumors about AFRICOM um, in, in the media throughout the continent. And as you know, AFRICOM is based in Europe, and most of the soldiers that came came from the mainland U.S. Mm. Um, so it was just useful to have um, the U.S. Army um, operating for AFRICOM here. Yeah. All right. Well, look, this is a, a fantastic thing. So next, next, uh, when is the next exercise happening? So are our soldiers going to the, to the U.S. on the next exercise? Well, the exercise is, is in South Africa usually, but there will be South African soldiers that go throughout the year to the U.S. Okay. Good. Virginia, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, Virginia Palmer, who is the uh, charge d'affaires of the U.S. Embassy, talking about this uh, 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 two-week joint USA-SA humanitarian disaster and peacekeeping operation that happened in the Eastern Cape just recently. Thanks very, very much. It was good, good chatting to you as well.